Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to update OBS. So basically how to check for updates for OBS in 2025. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. So normally when you're starting up OBS and there's a new update available, it will give you this window right here. It basically shows you an overview of the latest changes. There might be cases that you don't see this window come up. Even though you've opened and reopened OBS multiple times, this window doesn't show up, but you still want to update OBS. So what I can do then is then, for example, if I cancel this for the moment, if I close this, and I go up here to help, click on it, and click on check for updates down here. As you can see, this window shows it should be slightly different than the one that you have when you're starting up, but it's the same idea. You can just click update now here. And as you can see right here, it's searching for the updates and actually downloading and installing the latest updates here. So this should just take a little while. Okay, and so you know it's finished and it says update complete here, of course, and then click on launch OBS. Okay, now this is pretty interesting. I didn't actually expect this error to show up but in fact if you have any plugins from a previous version those plugins might also need an update so you have to go to the official website of OBS where you probably got it from and click on update otherwise that plugin might not function properly or even fail to load as it says here so in my case it's only one it's CNotes doc here so just remember that if you have any plugins to actually update them but we're just going to click OK here and so basically as you can see I'm back here now it has been updated as you can see OBS 32.0.1 there's also a new layout going on here and basically if I go back to help right now and I do check for updates it will say no updates are available because obviously I just did the update so I can just click OK here by the way if you go to the settings right here here in general you see update channel and it says stable latest stable release this is by default now you have also a second option normally where you can get some betas release so you could potentially have access to but they are of course a bit more unstable because sometimes the newest beta version is quite unstable because they're still in testing phase but that's something you could consider but of course I generally is advice you to have it on stable latest release right here and if you want to automatically check for updates on startup so if you actually start up OBS as it did it shows you the window if you want to actually update it or not if you have this unchecked you can check this if you want so then in the future it automatically asks you to update or if you don't really want that or you're in the version that you like of OBS currently you can also uncheck this box right here and then you click apply and okay now if you're running into any problems you can actually just go ahead and close OBS or you could of course as well restart your computer which is advised or worst case scenario you can actually uninstall and download and install OBS again so if you actually want to uninstall it, you can actually go to start right here go to settings then here you want to make sure you go to apps installed apps now as you can see we have OBS right here what you can do then is do the three little dots and you click uninstall that's in case you really want to get rid of it if you want to uninstall it and in case you want to start over again and so if you actually want to download and install so for that you can actually go to the website here as you can see make sure it's obsproject.com and here you can actually download and install the latest version again in this case of course for windows for me or if you go up to download here and click on previous releases as you can see here is the latest version but if you scroll down you have some older versions here of OBS which you could potentially download and install so in case you don't like the latest release it's not really stable you can of course go ahead here and search for a older version of OBS itself of course because it's just the official OBS version but one that is a bit older but that you prefer you can go ahead and do that but in any case guys hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like would be really nice subscribe to us really nice and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye